Okay, before we start doing some mathematical operations with decimal numbers, let's um, just take a quick moment to understand the concept of a decimal number. So right here I googled a um, stopwatch and this is just the standard stopwatch that comes up on a Google page and on the web browser and um, if you notice if you wanted to time something you can press start and it starts timing and where it says S right here that stands for seconds. So right now we're at six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds. Over here to the right, where my cursor is now, we have numbers that are moving very fast. Those are um, basically decimal numbers to the hundredths place that are moving. And every time what's happening is those numbers are going up to 100 and starting back over to zero. Going up to 100, starting back over to zero. And every time they go up to 100, over here on the left, the second changes. So now that we went to 36 seconds, 37 seconds, we just counted up to 100, two, three, four more times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and start again. So if you notice we're at 45. We are at 45 seconds and 67. Think of this as 45.67. That 67 is on its way to 100. When it gets to 100, this 45 seconds will then change to 46 seconds. Now, I'm going to try and do this really fast, see if I can land in the 90s. Oh, we're 45.84. 45.97 and what you'll see maybe it goes so fast you may not see it is that it will actually count this 97 will go 97 it'll go 98 99 and then instead of saying 100 over here on the right of this decimal point let's say that s is then instead of saying 100 it'll say 00, zero and then that one will be added on to the 45 and it'll turn into 46 so I'm going to try and start stop really fast and we'll see the 40, the 97 move to 98, 99 and then 00, zero and then on the, simultaneously when it moves to 00, zero on the right side it changes to 46 on the left side. Uh, I didn't do it fast enough but you can see that it changed to 46 now we're at 46.13 if I start stop I can try and do it again I'm not that fast. Ooh, you, I almost did it 47.91, it's going to count up to 99, ah, it did, and it switched over to 00, zero. now it's at 0, 01, zero, 02. You get the idea, but the reason why it's important to see this as a visual before you start um, doing some operations with decimal numbers, it's important to understand when does uh, movement on the right side of, the, of this so-called decimal point change and make movement happen on the left side of the decimal point. Basically when it counts up to 100 it's saying that's one whole second more and so therefore we're going to add another second to the left side. But when it's anywhere in between one whole second it's saying that it's 0 .2, 0 0.02 seconds uh, towards a whole second. Now it's 0.14 seconds towards a whole second. So basically it's telling you what portion of a second is it until it becomes a whole second. So right now it's 0.28 seconds. It's not a whole second yet. And you can see that because this 48 did not change to 49. It is still a portion of a second, so that's why that 48 stays. But if I keep going, that portion is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's getting closer to 100. 0.73 is another portion, but it's a much bigger portion towards a whole second. And pretty soon, oh, I did it. I landed exactly on 00. zero. Now we have 49 seconds. That 48 changed to 49 because we added up to a whole new second. It's not a portion of a second anymore. It's now exactly 49 whole seconds. Okay, so now, I know that was kind of an explanation, but it's important to understand that and keep that concept in mind while I uh, show how to do some operations with decimals. Um, I'll start with doing some multiplication of decimal numbers to the hundredths place, just like these kinds of numbers we see here. When you see two numbers after the decimal point, that's, that's hundredths place.